This is general advice if you have any trouble running GRASS GIS under this Ubuntu Linux machine. If you were able to load GRASS GIS and something wouldn't work, try this. If you were unable to load GRASS GIS at all, also try this. You don't need to do these steps if everything is working fine. Click on the terminal window. If you do not have it pinned to your favorites like I do here, you can search for it below. With the terminal window open, type in the following command. sudo dpkg space dash dash configure space dash a. There are no spaces here and then there's no space before the word configure. Press enter. Type in your password. It's a little tricky because it won't show it to you and it won't even show you dots to show that you've typed anything. Press enter. This is a quick splice to ask you to consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. It does not cost anything. It is totally free. But if you like what I am doing and want to support my work, I encourage you to visit patreon.com slash joshbanta and make a voluntary contribution. The link is in the show notes below. Your support helps me to deliver new content and keep this channel current and vibrant. Thank you. Next, type the following command. There are no spaces unless I indicate. sudo space apt-get space purge space grass space grass-core space grass.doc space grass.gui then press enter. When prompted, do you want to continue? Type the letter Y and press enter. After several minutes, it will finish running. What we are doing here is uninstalling Grass. We have now uninstalled it, and now the final step, we are going to reinstall Grass. Type sudo space apt-get space install space grass enter. When prompted, type the letter Y and press enter. And if grass still doesn't work, please do the following. Come down here to the dots at the bottom left corner. When you click on those dots in the bottom left, the search window comes up. Type in update. And there'll be two versions of update. Now, the, the, yours may be in the reverse order. Look for the one that's gray, not the one that's purple. Uh, if you are colorblind, to some degree where it makes it hard to get that distinction, one of them says software and update, and the other one just says software update. You want to click on the one that just says software update. Click on Install Now. You may be asked for the system password. Click Authenticate. When the updates are finished installing, you will receive the following message on your screen. Click Restart Now.
When available, click on your username to pull up your password and type in your password and hit enter. And now everything should work.